Hey guys, I finally took down my crochet braids and detangled my hair. Oh my god, I'm so tired. That took a long time. It took me about two hours. Hmm, maybe an hour and a half. It wasn't the taking the crochet braids out that took a long time. It was the detangling my hair and getting out these small knots that um were around the perimeter of my hairline they weren't bad but i just didn't want my hair i didn't want to rip through my hair so i had to take my time and take out those knots um but um my edges are intact and what i mean by intact it probably is not as, as thick as what you would expect but this is how my edges always look like so i, I they don't look like they've been damaged of course, I told you that my hair was falling out around the temples really bad due to postpartum shedding. But other than that, uh, my edges look like they normally do. Now, this is how much hair came out. Can you guys see that? Two handfuls. This is how much hair came out when I detangled my hair. And I was being very slow and gentle. Uh, my hair was... Um, my hair had a lot of oil in it, so it, it wasn't dry, you know, it wasn't hard to detangle. And this is how much hair came out. So, as I suspected, my hair was still shedding really bad while I was in the uh, crochet braids. But I think at this point, probably the postpartum shedding should, should be on its way to stopping. My son is actually five months today. And it started when I was about three months postpartum. Yeah, so I think it should be stopping. Like, it doesn't last forever, so I think it should be stopping. But look how much hair I lost. Like, that saddens me a lot. That makes me sad. It's just hair, though. So, my, the density of my hair. My hair is very thin. It's 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 uh, combed out, so it might look kind of thick, but it, it's actually very thin. If you can see the density when I scrunch it, look. It's very thin. Like the density is very thin. All right. So my original plan was to take my hair down, wash it really well, deep condition it, cornrow it again, and put the crochet braids back in. But I don't think I want to do that. I think my hair has been a little bit stressed. Um, you know, being put away for two months, two and a half months. My hair is a little bit stressed, so I'm going to let it recover. I'm going to give it time to recover and breathe. And um, I don't know if I'm going to put the braids back in in a month or two months or I don't know really how long, but I will be able to tell just by feeling my hair. Um, the health is pretty good. Besides the shedding, the health of the hair is pretty is in pretty good condition. Um, I am going to do a lip check in this video, so I'll go, go grab my measuring tape here in a second. Uh, but I'm not going to start the official, official growth challenge until I put the braids back in. So I'll do a lymph check now and then when I get ready to put the braids back in, I'll do a beginning lift check and then when I take them back out after taking my supplements and doing the um, growth oil, then I'll see how much my hair grew while it was put away and protected. So let me go get a tape measure just so you can see how long my hair is. Now I have major shrinkage so I do not get any of this length that I have right now. When I do my hair, it is shrunk to my head unless I stretch it out. but. I just do a wash and go, which I think I'm going to do a wash and go tonight. And if I do, I'll come back to you guys in the morning before I go to work and show you what my hair looks like. 
and I've never measured my hair since I've been natural I've never measured my hair with a measuring tape so I'm just taking a wild guess here I would say my hair is probably I'll say eight inches I'm just putting a number out there so we'll see I'll be right back all right guys so I got my measuring tape here so let's my kids are making noise in the background so let's measure here let me see if we can zoom in All right, so let's take just a section in the front. All right, so the front section is actually 12 and a half inches. <laughs> 12 and a half inches so you can't see it you can't see it but it's 12 and a half inches um so that's the front section so I'm gonna pick a piece from the side which I know it's a lot shorter I'm just gonna do the front and the side I'm not gonna do the back because I don't want to be fooling back there and see I have a little knot right here so I'm just gonna work it out Okay, so take a piece from the side. So the side is actually about nine and three fourths. Nine and three fourths inches. The top is 12, the side is nine and three fourths. And it's like that because I tapered my hair. I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I tapered my hair and I cut my sides and my nape shorter than I did the top. So yeah, that's my limp check. So I'm about to wash my hair and deep condition it and try to show it some love. And I will be back again very soon. Thanks for watching.